I'm planning to make a chocolate and citrus dessert. I'm trying to attempt at least 12 elements. There's a sponge, there's a chocolate ganache, pears, caramelized white chocolate, a lot. 12 elements is plan A. Plan B is to just cook up as many things as I can and just plate whatever that comes up. Wow, you've got a lot of pots on the go. Yeah, yeah, I'm making dessert today, so it's going to be chocolate with a little zing of citrus. Zing of citrus, I like the sound of that. Yeah, yeah. I learned cooking through my family. My mom is a really good cook. I think I'm very good with desserts and something that makes people think like, wow. My food dream is to one day open up a patisserie in KL where I make modern uh, desserts and modern cakes. This is going to be a hot chocolate. The chocolate bits are going to be um, pastry, and then the cold bits are the ice cream and, right. uh, and the curd. Oh, so you're, you're going to make ice cream too? Yeah, I'm going to make ice cream. Wow. Simple ice cream. You're really pushing yourself today, aren't you? I think I am. Uh, yeah. I think I pushed myself a little bit too hard, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. The judges really think I'm pushing it, but that's, that's sort of who I am. Should be OK. I hope. To be in this competition, I'm sacrificing a lot of my time I want to push myself, I want to, I want to be the best, I want to impress. This year, uh, sponge doesn't want to come out, so I'm in a bit of a jiffy. I definitely feel the pressure. The sponge isn't to the proper consistency I want. I'm thinking to myself, I should have done this earlier. Ten minutes ago, I'm definitely pushing it. Marcus, come show us what you forgot. In 90 minutes, I'm trying to attempt at least 12 elements. But I knew that was impossible. I couldn't find a calamansi in the pantry earlier. Until the end, I'm still going to take some calamansi to the judges. I'm going to give them some theatre. Just hope that it works. Wow, well, now a bit of theatre. I like that. My take on chocolate and a citrus dessert. So I like the zing of the citrus with the sweetness and richness of the chocolate. Before you begin, take the little calamansi, rub it in your hands, fill your nostrils up with the flavors of calamansi. And... Marcus, what is your journey about this dish? I'm really much, pretty much a dessert person. And once in a while, I make birthday cakes for friends. So this is actually a version of a cake that I always make. Let's, Let's try it. It's a fun dessert, so mix and match however you want. All right, Marcus, you have too many things into your plates. Mm -hmm. You have 90 minutes, so you have to make sure that you can do something to represent you into this one dish. If it's the one who represents you, it's too many, it's too much. Marcus, too many things, so disconnected. Everything has lots of ingredients, but it's still kind of that really flat tasting. And you're getting lost in the end. You're getting lost? Totally getting lost. I'm coming from a family of very famous pastry chef in France. So I know exactly what you try to achieve here. Modern techniques, and especially with this sponge cake, with the espuma cooking in the microwave, that's what you try to do? Yes, I did. Yeah. This is supposed to be very, like a cloud. It's supposed to be very, very light. And you have a reason why it's not the texture it's supposed to be or not? Well, ideally, uh, this is the sort of dessert you would serve immediately. I can guarantee you. Okay. I can guarantee you. I can make you one. We're going to stay very, very light. I'd like to see that. This man has three Michelin stars. And when he tells you that it hasn't been done right, Time to listen, yeah? Definitely. Humility will take you a long way in this competition. And sometimes, strip it back a little bit, because we want to see insides of Marcus. We want to see what Marcus is really about, yeah? So cook from Come here. Come from here. Yeah. You cook from here. Absolutely. From yeah. the heart. 
Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Thank you so much for the advice. If they didn't like my dish, it's okay. That just gives me a chance to one day come up with a really good dish and just blow them away.